Hello. Good evening, my dear NEET aspirants uh, who are going to write the NEET 2025 examination. There are two quick updates and very, very important. One of them is already out, but some of you might not know about it. First thing is about the paper leak. Second thing is about the Aadhaar. I'll give you both the updates very quickly so that you can go and study. So, on the official website of NTA, you can see reporting of suspicious claims in NEET UG 2025 examination. And those of you remember the NEET 2024 paper leak cases, a lot of issues happened on Telegram, WhatsApp, and you know, people were claiming that the paper got leaked beforehand, etc. This year, in the JE 2025 examination, hundreds of students were debarred from the examination because of either paper leak, malpractice or cheating. So, some or the other issue, they have already been debarred in J. So, this year, obviously, NTA is taking very strict action and they want to take a preventive action in case some issue happens. So, if you open this notice, they have clearly told that there is a dedicated platform launched by NTA and NTA advises all the candidates not to be misled by, you know, all these uh, mischievous elements who indulge in any kind of malpractice and try to deceive candidates with false claims. Candidates can report any activity which is suspicious like unauthorized website or social media accounts saying that the paper has been leaked or individuals claiming access to the exam content or somebody saying that I will write the exam uh, instead of you or posing as an NTA uh, or government official. The reporting form is simple and allows users to describe what are they observing and they have to submit the proof. This is along with the Public Examinations Preventive of Unfair Means Act 2024 and the Act contains stringent provisions for all the offences committed in that Act. The website link has been mentioned here. Also on the main official website, you will be able to see a report here some suspicious claims. So whatever problems you are uh, seeing, let's say somebody forwards your message saying, you know what, I have the paper. Immediately you can report it. Or somebody says, I have the, uh, you know, NTA officials number and you know, this is the questions that they have been leaked. Please don't believe because they will charge money for it. Even if it is 10 rupees, don't pay even 10 rupees to such accounts because they are just preying on your fear and your greed that I want marks. I want marks or I'm scared of not clearing it. So they will you know, use that tactic so that they can grab your money. Even if it is 10 rupees, even if they target 1 lakh students, that's it. They have already become rich. So, you can report over here. This particular link will open. Okay, you can see this particular link and you can just say report here, your name, your email ID and the CAPTCHA and then you can uh, get a OTP and you can start reporting. Please, guys, uh, report in advance. Don't say, oh, why should I report? Let me get that paper only. I will be at benefit. I will get more marks. Nothing will happen. It's fake. It's not a real paper. Understand that. Okay? It's, it's not going to happen. So, please report it. Because, again, you don't want all that trauma. Remember that last year's trauma was huge. Clear? Okay. First of all, also smash the like button and subscribe to the Vedantu Need English channel. Many people forget to do that and you get timely updates and all the relevant information. Now, the second important update is regard the, regarding the Aadhaar authentication. It's not an official notice over here, but many students have already started receiving SMSs or email IDs and some students have not received the email IDs or emails or SMSs. So, there is some confusion regarding that. So, I have made a very simple flowchart for this. This need 2025 Aadhaar authentication. Remember, you have to submit an ID card proof, correct? Now, if you have used Aadhaar card as a proof already during the registration process back one or two months back, then you would not have received any SMS or any email or anything like that. Chill, you don't have to do anything. Everything has been done. You just have to go sit and study. So, this notice is not even for you. But if you have used something else, maybe ration card or driving license or some passport or something else, as the ID card, then as per the NTA directive, every student has to link their Aadhaar, uh, you know, irrespective of what ID card you have used, so that they can track individuals and it's easier to track using their Aadhaar number. If there is some impersonation happening, they can track down the culprits. So, for safety and precaution purposes, they want you to link the Aadhaar. As simple as that. They don't want any paperly impersonation, cheating, unfair means to happen this year. So, if you have used any other ID, then you would have got an SMS or an email. Please check your email, check the spam folder. Even in SMS, there are filters. So, if you have 
unblocked everything, you would have got a, a link or you would have got a notice saying you need to authenticate. So it is genuine. Please go ahead and do that. If you have not received any kind of SMS or email, just go to the login page, your registration page with the same email ID and password. And there you will see some notice saying that you need to authenticate using Aadhaar. Just click on that link or if you have that SMS or email, just click on that link and say authenticate using Aadhaar. Follow the step-by-step -step procedure. It will hardly take a minute. And that's it. You are done. Sorted. Go sit and study. I hope this is absolutely clear. Okay. Very simple. Now, there is only one fear that I have in mind. This is only for those students who have used some other ID cards. For other students, you don't have to do anything. Please go check your registration page. The only thing I'm scared about is actually this, you know, this reporting suspicious claims uh, by any, any uh, you know, group, individual or unauthorized people with fake websites or social media account. By chance, if the real paper gets leaked, trust me, you pray that this does not happen because I'll tell you many places this happened in their local CT entrance or board exams and they have an alternative set. That's what many people claim. And that alternative set was way difficult than the normal set. So just really pray that no leak happens. Nobody does anything. Please report them. We don't want any kind of leak because whatever paper has been set, okay, fine, whatever easy, difficult it is, you do not want the alternative set which will unnecessarily be difficult because that's what happened, if I'm not wrong, in Maharashtra. Uh, the, there was a claim that the board paper got leaked and then at the last moment, the authorities didn't say anything about it. Silently, they took the other set and gave it and that other set was way more difficult than the first set. And the rest all papers, chemistry, maths, etc. were very simple. So we just hope that this does not happen anywhere because our students have worked really hard. So pray for this and spread this message across to all the kids so that they don't do any unnecessary things and, you know, spoil your hard work. Okay. So everybody, the parents, the students, the relatives, the batchmates, the teachers, everyone should be informed. So please spread this message. Thank you so much. Go and study now. Bye-bye. Take care.